Welcome everybody, welcome to another SLRR review. Today we will be reviewing SLRR, it's a very confusing name, it's a very hardcore name, BB93's SLRR 2015 90s JDM by Miegalius, quote uh, parentheses, realistic. Uh, the first, uh, as you can see, the first, uh, the, the first sentence in the in the v stanced page download page is a very autistic approach to realism and slrr volume two so as the title says as the as everything says this is this is a 90s jtm orientated realistic slrr now i'm going to link the art not the article the download everything in the description so if you want to get the game the game it's in the description this is basically a game around basically around 90s jtm cars uh, it's it's got a bunch of, it's got a bunch of good things like it's not it's six it's ni nineteen twenty by ten eighty which means it looks gorgeous. If we open up the main menu, it's going to be very loud. I just forgot to fix the audio. I'm going to fix it. As you can see, this is a gorgeous looking game. The the full HD just makes it look unreal, unreal, well, unreally well. Yeah, that's what I was going for. Look at the detail. It's just beautiful. It's just beautiful. So the point of this uh, of this mod pack is to make it realistic and to make it stable. Even though it just crashed, that doesn't matter. You know, it's SLRR at the end of the day. Uh, one very good thing about this game, uh, about this mod pack, is that all engines, the all cars come with their appropriate engines. You're not gonna you're not gonna get a four banger Supra. You're going to get a two JZ Supra, like I have here. Um, I actually changed it for a greedy, a g greedy one, but it's fucking okay. As you can see, here here's the stock engine, actually, but that's that's very good. Um, this is a car where you know I played a bit, I played around a bit with it, and um, you know I just wanted just just to get a just see what this game is all about. Um, it doesn't have too many aftermarket parts, but as the as the post on Vsan says, it's so you can add what you want to add to the game and. Um, I'm very impressed with what it has. So, if you go into vehicles, we've got a lot of vehicles. Skyline, Sephiro, shout out to the Sephiro, you know. Um, we've got Civics, 1.6 VTI. I don't even, oh god, it's a EK9. Not a, I don't know, it's, it's this, it says EK4, but that's an EK9. Oh no, it might, it might be a sedan. Oh, that's pretty good. Um, we got Mitsubishi Colt. I don't even know why. We've got a Rally Art Colt, though. We got you know, Crestus. We got MX fives, uh, Evos. We got a lot of JDM legends. We got a BNR thirty two Nismo. Uh, also, mm, something to note: unlike the SLR exhaustive, you can actually see the cars you're installing, uh, you know, buying by clicking vehicle because it doesn't crash the game. This is again a very stable, a very stable uh, SLR mod pack. I don't know if it's as stable as SLR injected by Vlad, but I don't know. You got white body project. What is this? Out, out, autocraft. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's definitely a project. It's definitely a project. Um, yeah, it's 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 got it's got a, quite a bunch of cars. Obviously, all of them ninety JDM cars. But you know, that's pretty it's pretty good. That's pretty pretty good. Um, but yeah, that's it for cars. Cars are uh, you know they're they're good. Uh, if we go into engine kits directly into engine kits, the uh, the way, oh, yeah, the, the crater, like, realistic looking, <laughs> that's pretty good, that's pretty good, you know, 2 jz 2 uzfa we've got, you know, the normal game, um, uh, USA, Lexus engine, Toyota engine, on SR20, and 1JZ, D16, RB26, we've got, we've got them all, boys, we've got them all, obviously not all, we've got a very significant amount of engines, we got uh, VR38 Devils V6, and we got a, a C30, not C, a 32 AMG engine. We got a 30 TFSI engine. You know, a ton of engines, a ton of engines. Obviously, the Devils ones are, uh, I'm pretty sure, are just stock in-game looks. They don't, they, you're not gonna pull up with an actual 30 TFSI engine. But whatever, B18. We got EG20s, and apparently that's it. Uh, as I said, you know, this is set up more for you to continue adding on to the game. 
Yeah, I don't, I don't think we're going to find anything special onto here. You know, we've got we've got a different setup, a, a different page layout uh, than S SLR injected by Vlad. But one thing is very cool, as you can see, SL Tuner Shops. You know, you go, it's it's like you're in 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 a browser. It's like you're in a browser and you're clicking things. So it makes it a tiny bit more aesthetically pleasing. Um, obviously, body parts and uh, all these things are very dependable on the mod you've got uh, on the car. Aerodynamic tuning again, the same thing. License plates. This I can never get these to work, and uh, probably on. It's probably specific to the car. Um, running gear, suspension. We've got the V stance, and we've got Mr. Sir two and Mr. Sir one. Uh, which is all standard and it's all fine and dandy V stands, and you got a, a bunch of these, and uh, it's, pre it's pretty much a very uh, very similar, if not the same, as injected by Vlad. Brake systems, I think this is almost exactly the same, if not the same. No, it's actually a bit worse. But tires, we've got we've got a bunch of tires. They're all categorized this way, uh, which is nice. It makes it more clean looking. Um, once you go into 19 inch, you know, you hope for it to load and not crash. It's probably not going to crash. There we go. Because this is a stable version, boys. Stable version. We got slicks and shit. Um, same with the rims. We got 19 inch, 19 that, 19 this, you know. Very good thing. Uh, rims. I'm guessing it has the stock BB's 93 rims. Uh, so the not game crashed. It. it Right after I said it's a very stable, but it's mostly very stable. Uh, we've got we've got we've got the same problem with smaller wheels that some are uh, turned the other way, <laughs> which makes it very hard to know what kind of rim that is. But you know, it's got it's got the very good choice of rims. You know, you're not gonna be complaining about rims. What is this? Show off rim. There seems to be a human attached to that rim. What is this? Um, we're gonna take it out in a second. We've got running gear kit. We don't have running gear kits. <laughs> um, interior, interior. Interestingly enough, there are quite a few interior parts. Please don't crash because this will make it very awkward. Uh, after me telling it, telling, telling people it's not, it's very stable. Uh, it's got, it's got all of these. You know, it's again dependable on the car, but it's got a bunch of these that are um, nice and easy to uh, get to. But I think it's. Oh my own, oh man! There we go. Okay, um, that's pretty much it for the decals. I don't know. There, there are decals, but it seems to be the stock ones that are from the game, uh, which don't turn out to be the best quality. Um, but yeah, what is this? Ah, yes, the uh, human. <laughs> okay, okay, there are no tires on the rim. But, okay, uh, another problem that the, the SLR exhaust have had too is that if we remove enough parts from the car, if it's possible. But look, look at the space you're getting. Look at the space. Basically, if you've got a lot of things, the if you remove something, it would go down to the last page, and uh, you know, basically, it it makes it annoying. It just jumps down to the page, so you need to go click, 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 click up to, to get to the part you you wanted to change. Um, but it's it's really nothing compared to the way this car looks. This game look makes it, oh, this is very nice, very nice looking, and I think this is the game's strongest point, the way it looks, um, and. It honestly might be the game I try to play SLR Season 6. Because, you know, I've played all Let's, uh, all let's Play Seasons on on SLR or by Vlad and then Injected by Vlad. So I, I would like some some differences, something, you know, something different. So, uh, you know, keep a look and uh, keep a look out for that because I might be I might be starting a new a new Let's Play Season 6 might be starting soon. But that is mostly it. Of course, you guys uh, can check this game out. I'll be using this one for let's builds and uh, and whatnot, and maybe, like I said, a uh, a season six on this game would be interesting. But that is it.
Thank you for watching this review. Everything is in the description. And I will see you in the next one.